Big City Greens is a show about a uh, family from the country that moves to the city, and it's kind of all about their antics as they adapt to city life. Building tools, eh? What a world. This holiday special is all about the Greens celebrating their Christmas traditions inside a virtual reality game called Outpost Infinity. Disney has always pushed the limits when it comes to animation technology, and so going real time just felt like a natural progression. So for Virtually Christmas, we wanted to bring everything into Unreal Engine and basically create a sandbox for our directors and cinematic directors to tell a story. For a large portion of this project, it started with just me was great because Unreal is like a sandbox. Just how easy it is to build out environments, to throw lights in, to set your characters up just with previs assets, and all of a sudden you have your idea and it becomes something concrete in front of you. You know, I'm watching Mark go in there for three months by himself and block out the entire story and then be like, I've got this story, let's get the rest of the team in here and start making it. It's a really cool pipeline to kind of see develop and evolve. One of the cool things about this is we can build assets once in a multi-platform authoring pipeline and leverage them for all sorts of purposes, such as virtual production, real-time data visualization, interactive storytelling. We wanted to put these characters in this big open world video game. We wanted it to feel like a painting. Very rich colors, very graphic style, and kind of blend these two worlds of the 2D and the 3D in a way that was super satisfying and really new and appealing. Whenever you're converting 2D animation into 3D, it's always a big challenge. And the largest challenge is usually translating the characters. I think our big ticket items were we wanted to make sure that the greens felt like themselves. So that meant motion-wise and design-wise, that when you looked at it, you're like, oh, that's cricket. It was really important for us to create a custom stylized look that could flatten out all of the forms and really reduce the dimensionality so the 3D characters could feel like their 2D counterparts. In 2D animation, you don't have traditional motion blur that you would get for free in something like Unreal Engine to really imply a lot of motion. But instead, animators distort the characters, add an incredible amount of squash and stretch. The characters are being pushed to whatever limit you can imagine because they're only limited by what people can draw. And so we wanted to push the bounds of what we could do with squash and stretch, with smear frames, and really get some traditional animation elements that define what cartoons are into the engine. So we're actually doing a number of doubles. We're creating motion lines. We are distorting the characters all in engine. We cheated a lot. We cheated in the way that 2D animators cheat. We were able to, to pull it off by just animating to camera and having like super robust rigs and then a very nice flat like lighting scenario. It's fun to see if you kind of like, you rotate the character and you're just like, oh, that's, that's real broken. You'll see some just wild squashing and stretching, like faces pulling to the side and stuff that really adds to the snappiness of the animation and keeps it feeling grounded in that Big City Greens style. Whenever possible, we try to expose properties to the artists. There's the modular character system, for instance, where we have these little monsters in the scene and you can dress them in different outfits for their costumes. We got it to a point where they could select whatever accessories they wanted to put on the character and just drag and drop it right on to the component. But we also gave them the freedom to do it entirely randomized as well. First up, cookie decoration. From the set build all the way through final frames, everything was in Unreal Engine. We wanted to do everything in sequencer. So we have one big main sequence that contains everything that we're working on. And you go down level to level and you break it into sequences and then from then into shots. It's all one giant project that they can fly around and do really quick fixes that you wouldn't be able to otherwise do in a traditional pipeline when you don't have a, a centralized content creation suite like Unreal. We were fairly late in the game and we wanted to redo a pretty heavy, lengthy sequence that ordinarily would be a showstopper. <laughs> And I was able to sit with the showrunner and in about two hours with existing animation and new control rig animation that I would add on the fly, we were able to redo the entire three minute sequence in about two hours. I don't even know if it would have been possible in a regular pipeline. Well, Cricket, I was a little skeptical, but we really pulled this off. <laughs> this is the best looking thing we've ever done. It's got the most fun animation. The environments are incredible. Every single aspect of this special is above and beyond. And I'm really proud to say for all of our team, this was our first project in Unreal. And looking at the final product, you would never ever know that. On your mark, get set, go!